Hello, hello, hello again. I am Chris, the Old School Picker. Welcome back to the channel. Inside this big box is some good profit. Stay tuned and I'll show you what I've sold. All right, so been listing quite a bit, a lot of stuff from the uh, that I purchased at the 127 yard sale and sales have been going up. It's amazing what uh listing every day will do for you. So if you're not selling, you should be listing. I think I have five. No, I think I've got seven sales going out today. But there's a two or three really, really, really good ones. So stay tuned for those. But well, first thing we'll pick is this book and I finally got all my inventory listed. I took a uh, Inven all my listings inventoried i took a bunch of my old stuff off as you can see i got tubs labeled so finding my items should be a whole lot easier the first one is this book and this was a 127 find as well it is dragons of autumn twilight dragon lance chronicles volume one i sell a lot of media and a lot of times i have a second account i put it on my media vault page We'll look at it in a few minutes. But if it's a higher dollar media item, I'll put it on the main account. And books, I, I won't pick up books a whole lot. Anytime you see a book that looks somewhat like Dungeons and Dragons, it's worth looking up. I picked this up at a yard sale, at a church sale during the 127 yard sale. Paid a buck for it. I looked it up real quick. Scanned the barcode. And it had so comps anywhere between 30 and i think around 50 bucks i listed mine for 34.99 and it sold full price so a dollar into 34.99 good sale and the next item i have going out is an a12 and a lot of these items are on top and that's because a lot of it that i had sold is stuff i've just listed recently but this is a laser jet hp 35a ink cartridge print cartridge i don't pick them up a whole lot anymore especially the small ones but this one was new sealed and it's one of the bigger ones i picked it up cj actually found it my son actually found it on the 127 yard sale for a buck it sold for 29.99 plus shipping so ink still sells guys next item i have going out is this woody from Toy Story. I believe it's from the original Toy Story. I believe. I can't remember. But it had the pull string. It's one of those. Unfortunately, it does not work. Of course, I listed that in my listing. It does have the holster missing the hat. If you can find these complete, they're pretty decent money. I went ahead and bought this one just because it was a dollar. I picked that up at a local thrift store. Uh, just a week or so ago, and it sold for $14.99 plus shipping. So still pretty decent little sale. All right, next item I have going out is in B15. And that's where I keep a lot of my action figures. And this is some of the Johnny West stuff I've been listing. Uh, if you go back and watch one of my last videos, I talk about a bunch of the Johnny West figures and uh, accessories I bought. I listed some of the figures. I listed some of the figures the other day. Um, and I listed some of the accessories too. I'm kind of listing them separate because it looked like complete. A lot of the figures just sold for like 60 and 70 bucks. To where some of the accessories sold for 10 to 20 bucks on their own. So I'm doing the work and just listing them all separate. Well, that figure right there, I believe his name is Fighting Eagle. Uh, obviously, he is a Native American. I listed him. He sold within, I think, within 30 minutes of listing him. And he sold for $39.99 plus shipping. I only paid 100 bucks for the whole box. And there's like six or eight figures in there. So, 40 bucks for one figure. That's almost half my money back, so... I think that's going to be a really good deal. All right, next item I have going out, and it's it's almost as good as the big box. It's actually more money, but less profit. But anyways, it's really, really good. It's this nine-channel RCA remote, or RC remote. It's, um, it's for model planes. 
we ran up on a guy during the 127 yard sale who had like 10 of the big model planes, the RC planes in his yard. And I was like, there's no way I'm buying anything from this guy. He's a collector. He, after speaking to him, he was actually, he actually built a lot of the planes, but he had this receiver for 35 bucks. And upon looking at it, it looked brand new. I talked to him about it and he said, well, it has been opened obviously, but I never used it. So I listed it just like what he said. I am taking a chance on it going by off his word. I listed it high. I listed it for $250. I went back and forth with a, a buyer um, about it. And he was like, okay, what's the, he was asking a lot of questions about it. And I was like, you know, I don't know all the answers because I'm obviously not an expert RC planes. I was just honest with him and told him, you know, what the guy that I bought it from said, but the guy that bought it has 1800 feedback. So I don't expect any problems. Anyways, I listed it for $250. He said, what's the best you'll take on it? I was like, you know what? I've only had it for like a week but I will take $230 for it. And it sold. He bought it. So $229.99 plus shipping. So basically I gave him his shipping for free. I only had $30 in it. So he wanted $35. I offered him $30. He took it. So $30 into $230. Pretty good profit. Good sale. If you see these, pick them up if they're cheap. I went to a yard sale not too long ago. It was actually when I was still staying with family before we bought our house. And they had this in, in their yard sale. Now, what's in this box? It's actually, I already boxed it up, obviously. So I'll just show you a picture. It's actually a Commodore video monitor, model 1701, I believe. I don't pick them this stuff up a whole lot. If it's big and heavy and bulky like that, I would much rather fool with the smalls. But if I can make really, really good money and it's cheap enough, I will buy it. I'm not scared to ship the big stuff. I've shipped I shipped a four foot Darth Vader one time, so <laughs> if that tells you anything, uh that's probably the worst thing I've ever shipped. Just because making a box for it was horrible. But this one fit pretty much in a medium Walmart box. Um, I actually had one laying around, so that worked out. And it is sticking out on the, bulked out on the sides a little bit. But that's not the monitor. That's actually some foam padding I had laid around. And it's just going to Georgia, so it's not far away. So I think it'll make it there okay. But I went to the yard sale, and the reason I bought it was because it was so cheap. I asked him, what do you want for it? I figured he was going to say 20, 30, 40 bucks. And I was like, you know, that was going to give me an out to pass on it. He said $2. <laughs> so when he said $2, I was like, you know what? I've got to buy it because I didn't know what it was worth when I bought it, but I figured it was worth somewhere between 50 and a hundred bucks. Got it home, got to looking. There's not many listed or at the time of listing it on eBay. I priced mine for 200 bucks a guy sent an offer i think of like a hundred we went back and forth a couple of times and we final finally settled on 149 dollars and 99 cents so two dollars into 150 that's worth fooling with um i only had it listed a few weeks i i've had it for a while i've had it for a couple of months but when i was living living with family i wasn't listing a whole lot so it's actually one of the first things I listed when we got in our new house. So because it was big and bulky and I wanted to get it out of here. So it only was listed for a few weeks. So $2 into 150 and only listed for a few weeks. Yeah, I need to start looking at bigger stuff like that more often. And I will now that we're settled. But that was a good sale. All right. And the last sale I have going out today is two CDs from the Media Vault page. I bought recently bought a lot of classical opera type CDs. I bought a huge lot of them. Probably over 300 CDs. Uh, you can see I have quite a few of them listed so far. Probably 30 or 40. But I have this box full. 
uh, there's more. This box is full. This box is full. Yeah, I've got a bunch of them to list. I've still got somewhat of a mess in here, by the way. But it's getting better. But anyways, those two CDs sold to the same person for $5.99 each. So $11.98 total order. And I did combine his shipping. So, but I do charge shipping. So $11.98 plus shipping. So I paid 80 bucks, I think, which was probably looking back at it now way too much for them. But I don't know. I th I'll do good with it. It's just a lot of work. That's one buy I have bought recently that I wish I had enough. I've been making some really good pickups. That one will pay off, but man, it's a lot of work to just list those five and six dollar CDs. Although I did list some for fifteen, twenty dollar range, and I have sold. That's not the first ones I've sold, so it will pay off eventually. All right, I'm gonna cut this video off now and get to shipping these things. It's late, later in the day. I need to already be at the post office. Thanks so much for watching. Check out my yard sale video I have coming up Friday. It's about the 127 meetup with all the other resellers. Please check it out. Remember to comment, like, and subscribe to this video. Give me a thumbs up. I would appreciate it. Old school picker.